Welcome back to the fishing public. This video is going to be highlighted with some live bait fishing. I had a charter, uh, three people from uh, North Georgia. They were kind enough to let me video them and uh, so the viewers can see what I was using and, and how effective uh, fresh live croakers really are. So majority of the fish was caught on this setup. This is a Daiwa Saltese uh, LD40. It's a two-speed reel. Hardly ever use a two-speed, but it is a 6.3 to 1. So it's a really fast retrieving reel with plenty of line. I have a 60-pound braid with a 60-pound fluorocarbon top shot. And the way it's set up is, it's more like a sow rig. I got about six feet of leader tied to a three-way swivel. And off that swivel, I just have a loop that the weight will come on. You can put it on and take it off very easily. So when you're running from one spot to another and it's rough, you, ain't, you don't have to worry about your weight beating your boat up. <clears throat> Highly recommend this scenario though. It, it just, the weight just spins around as you can see, you know. Uh, this is a chaos rod. This rod is uh, seven feet long, uh, medium heavy action, but it's got a great tip. And this length of this rod makes a huge difference when you're scamp fishing because you want to be able to drop the tip to these scamp and then pull up on them gently once they eat that croaker. And it's just, a, it's just an instant hook set with this circle hook. So, uh, Awesome setup. Believe me, the setup makes a huge difference in production because I've had other people bring their own gear and not catch a fish. And the guy next to him fishing this setup is, uh, you know, catching several fish. So, hope you enjoy the video. If you like it, please let me know and uh, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you on the water. The Fishing Public Channel is all about showing local fishermen and fishermen from all over what is possible here on the Gulf Coast. We fish out of Dolphin Island, Alabama. is having a wonderful day of fishing. <laughs> they have boated six or seven 15 plus pound scamp today. Absolutely outstanding. But all of which were caught on live croakers. I've got some Georgia folks with me and, and they know how to fish. So 
been a great day so far. A little choppy out here, but the water's beautiful. Check it out. Let line out, let line out. Do a little slack to him. Woo, that's another nice scamp right there, man. I mean, that is a giant. Giant. You see how I did that, Eli? That's the way to get line out. Man, that is four. Beautiful scam right there, let me tell you. He pulled back! <laughs> he went to hook him! He goes to sell! I call scamp biscuit. <laughs> no goose egg here. <laughs> okay. We caught about 20 snapper on this trip that we didn't put in the video. Uh, they were really thick and we caught some really big snapper as well. I wanted to show the viewers the system how I for maintaining this live bait and keeping it in quality condition, which is very important. Traditional traps are made of metal. The uh, croakers beat themselves up. What I have here is a live bait well that's above deck. Uh, wave action has been bad here since the storm blew out. The, uh, barrier that was existing. So because of that, I had to build an above above ground bait well. Essentially I have a salt pump pulling water up and pumping it in a rotating motion. And uh, 300 gallons. They're really hard to catch. You can get them sometimes, but you have to let the water out. That's how beautiful those croakers are. Another reason they're beautiful is because I catch them on hook and line. One at a time. Well, sometimes we'll catch two. I catch a lot of them right here off the dock. The boat's being serviced right now. Got out front. Every hundred hours do a change and found out one of my lower units is bad so I'm having to get that corrected. But the weather has not been cooperating so I will be back on the water as soon as possible. I appreciate it. Please subscribe and hit the like button. I need some more subscribers. I had quite a few views. I certainly appreciate it but uh, we'll see you guys back on the water. <laughs>